The biggest lesson I ever learned in jail is, coincidentally, is the very first night of the very first time I went in jail. It happened to be the biggest lesson by someone I didn't know. And it was an older Koori fella from Campbelltown. I don't remember his name. It wasn't a full jail bird, but been in a couple of times. And he turned to me and he said, you never do something for someone that wouldn't do the same for you. And that's the biggest lesson I ever learned. He said, that, don't do something for someone that wouldn't do the same for you. And I just go, yeah, yeah, sweet, sweet. And he goes, what does that mean? Like, what am I telling you? Do you understand? He, and I said to him, I go, don't do stuff for people. And he said, no, that's not what I'm saying to you. I said, think of it this way. If you have some bloke there and he tells you, bro, do you reckon you can chuck that in the bin for me? That's okay to chuck something in the bin for someone. But ask yourself, if you ask him the same question, would he turn around and say, fuck off, idiot. Who do you think I am? Then don't do it for him, no matter what his consequences are to you. And as simple as that. But if you believe that person will do it for you, then do it for them. Do anything they ask you if you believe they would give you the same. And I just thought that that's so, that's such a great um, concept that applies to just life in general. And it stops you from being someone that won't do anything for anyone. And it stops you being a pushover at the same time. What is and what isn't a dog? Um, jail opinion is that if somebody who chooses to benefit from a criminal lifestyle then to avoid the consequences by dobbing on someone else. That's a dog. Um, a lot of people get that wrong. A lot of people think that if you're a normal person and you call the coppers on someone, you're a dog, but it doesn't work like that. So you, you know what I mean? It's not as, as black and white as that.